Okay, welcome to basic animation in Python 3, part 5. Uh, in this part 5, we'll be using lists uh, to keep a list of the different shapes that we're using. Uh, and the reason we're doing this is that once we switch to a list-based method, um, then we can have any number of frames that we want without really changing the code. Um, so this is a bit more advanced. Uh, if you're not familiar with using lists, um, you can check out my my list uh, video in my basic Python 3 introduction. Uh, somebody remind me, I'll put a link down below uh, for you to, to see that. Okay, so in the previous video, what we did was we, we introduced the concept of a frame. So we start at frame zero, and then we show a certain image based on that frame. Okay, and then each time we, we change the frame number, and then we show a different image. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Watch, watch and learn here. Okay, so for this particular uh, you know, player, this particular sprite, we've got two frames. So watch what I do here. I'm gonna say player.frames equals, so notice it's frame and frames, don't confuse the two. And my first one is invader.gif. My second one is invader2.gif. Now with lists, if you're not familiar, but you should be because you shouldn't be watching this unless you've brushed up on lists, this is zero and this is one. That's just the way computers work. Okay, it's just the way programming works, I should say. So in here, what we're gonna do, now watch this. This is worth your, this is worth your admission price today. Uh, I'm gonna say player.frame plus equals one. Okay, what that does is every time I call this method, this frame is incremented by one. So when I call it, I go plus one. Now, what I have to do is I have to make sure that I haven't gone over the number of frames. So in this case, we got zero, one, and if I go to two, I'm gonna get an error because there is no two. There's only zero and one. So if player.frame is greater than or equal to the length of player dot frames, okay? Because the length of this frames is one two. There's two of them. So if player frame somehow is greater than or equal to that length, because this is zero, this is one. It's a little confusing. This is zero and one index, but there's two together, two all together. Then we say player dot frame equals zero. And that will keep recycling through the list of frames. So then all we gotta do is player.shape, player.frames, brackets, player.frame. Okay. So what that does is it sets the player shape to one of these images. So if the frame is zero, it sets it to this image. If the frame is one, it sets it to this image. Okay. And what's great about this, as I mentioned earlier, is that if I had invader gif 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, if I had 27, it wouldn't matter. This code will work for any size of frames or of frames lists that you have. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it. Okay, and you can see the animation is still working just as it did before. There have been no changes. Okay. So that's the basic uh, animation tutorial. This is what you got to do with your uh, animations. This is how this is how it works. Um, now the problem with this is, let's say I had player two. Okay, if I had player two, I would have to copy all this code, paste it, change everywhere it says player to player two, and then down, and then I'd have to call player animate two, it would just be a huge, huge mess. Um, so in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use classes to avoid that. Um, it's a bit more advanced topic. Um, some of you might not be ready for it, uh, but I'll, I'll, give, I'll do my best to try and explain it. Uh, but if you never used classes or objects before, probably isn't the video to start with. So if you're interested in learning more about that, come back for part six. I'll see you there.